Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It is a gorgeous evening here in Colorado. Tonight, we are not working on the Alvette. We are working on Joe's Crossfire. Now that Joe's car is all painted, we are going to wrap. And let me tell you, I have never wrapped anything. What about you, Joe? Have you ever wrapped anything before? Wrapped some Christmas presents. <laughs> I, that does never go well. And honestly, the last thing I wrapped was an egg roll. So it doesn't really count in the situation. We've done some flat panels, but never, ever have we wrapped a car. You get to see what happens and if it works or not. But before we get started, a uh, little update. Because of some of the projects we have going here, uh, we are kind of cleaning up the shop a little bit and getting rid of some stuff. And I had a random thought. On the Civic, we're not building it. Sorry guys, it's just, it's not gonna happen right now. We have some projects that are going to be bigger and schedule is just filling up and I, it's gonna be probably like a year before I get to it. So I thought, you know what? We bought this car for the subscribers and something we wanna do. What the heck, let's give it to a subscriber. So I'm not selling this thing. I'm not getting rid of it. I'm gonna give it to one of you guys. It runs, drives, nothing special. Uh, if you wanna find out more, this was at Preston with Garage Idiots. So all we're gonna do, something really simple, really easy. All you have to do is go down in the comments and just simply say, I want a Civic and where you are from and make sure you are subscribed to the channel. If you're a subscriber, you comment below that you want a Civic, we're just gonna pick somebody to give it to. Um, you're responsible for transport. We're not gonna bring it to you. So it can go anywhere you want, but that part is you're responsible for. But past that, 100% free. It's all yours. All right, my man. So you got a big tube here. Once you pull the wrap out, show us what you got. You already talked about it, um, but we haven't actually seen it in person on video. Well, we had a sneak peek of it on video. Did we? Oh, okay. Yeah, when I was doing it. But here's, here's a little more of a close-up on it. Apparently, it's too big to fit on camera. Long piece. There you go. Super wide. Uh, so this is the Arctic Camo. Where'd you get it? Uh, eBay. So this is nothing special. This is supposed to be air release, which yep. we've done panels. Um, I mean, we've done, not that one. Uh, actually, we didn't wrap any of that. Uh, oh, we did this one. So we've done flat stuff like that, but we've never done anything that's contoured. Uh, well, it's not flat. There it is. That's kind of cool. Yeah, I think it looks pretty cool. Yeah, it'll be something different. Um, it's definitely going to... I don't know. Everybody said it's going to show every blemish, but I feel like with this pattern, it's going to kind of hide some of the dings it and might. imperfections. But it'll draw... We'll say it'll be more of an illusion. It'll draw your eyes away. This trim is off. Oh, by the way, so quick cut here. Joe got a new windshield. Look at that brand new and actually you recorded it so let's cut to some footage here oh yeah they just peeled apart. Where's, your, where's your gloves there robert <laughs> i'm used to <laughs> with a nice shiny new one over here look at that again this is 50 percent off auto glass right there doing their mobile service for any of our local local fans go in with the new glass And for the first time since I bought this car, I can see through the windshield. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I could see through it before, but it was just in little splotches. Yeah. But now, look at that. All black Shiny. Down. All right. Well, Robert is just finishing up some little fine tweaks there, cleaning up that windshield. But man, that looks good. I can see through the window. Look at that. You can come down in here like I'm driving the car. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Awesome. I mean, let's be real. From where this car came from, dents and all, it's not as bad. And then we do not have the carbon fiber to wrap the hood yet. So we're just going to do the back section. And we're only wrapping up top here on the roof, down here, and down the sides. Uh, so Joe and I have never wrapped anything, like I said. So this is kind of a new experience for us. Bear with us. Um, any tips, tricks, anything for future? Please drop them in the comments. Definitely. Right well, yeah. Um, after, <laughs> if you're commenting now, then it's already done, and we either have succeeded or we failed. So. Both are options. <laughs> okay, so we're uh, we're gonna get to work here, and we'll just see what happens.
Well, the vinyl wrap, um, it looks uh, awful. Uh, this is not. We're not vinyl guys. <laughs> I'll say that. Uh, for the first time wrapping, I'm not very happy. Uh, a couple of mistakes. I think we cut a little bit too short, and then when we heated it up, it uh, stretched too short, and then we pulled it off too many times, and it's just deformed that it's not going on, so we'll have to put another piece on. I'm just, and on top of that, I was stupid. Um, if you, I'm just really mad at myself. The cord for the heat gun got caught on the tire. We didn't have enough around, and so it got caught, and it pulled as I turned, and I dropped it, and it totally screwed up, so... Let's, uh, let's redo this. Let's just go ahead and rip it off. I'm just not happy. <laughs> Round two. Decided to try the water method, which is another method. We tried the dry method before. Supposedly the water method is for novices and considering this is round two, I'd say we're novices. <laughs> Me, Joe. Well, we're just gonna have to see how this works out. Oh, you cut really low though. I thought you were cutting a thuringa. We're gonna leave this on and see if we can match up this seam back here a little bit just because I'm worried we may not have enough vinyl. Oh, because if it doesn't work, it's okay because we we're gonna cut it here anyway. I thought you ordered enough to do this whole car. I did, and then we messed up. Let's be honest, I messed up. That's my fault. Huh. And we can just tuck that into the door seam a little bit. As soon as I open that up. Yeah, it's coming out pretty solid. A lot, a lot of respect for guys that do this professionally. I mean, obviously, if you do it a lot, you get better at it. Um, this tucked under the weather stripping, pretty decent. And it's just, you know, wipe that off some goofiness. Um, but I mean, it's not terrible. There's just some areas I want to improve. So uh, now, what I zoomed in. Now that we have the front on, Joe's gonna go ahead and pop these uh, trim pieces on. See how that looks, and then we'll kind of get a game plan for the rest of it. But I think this took way too long tonight. Um, we'll probably end up just smoothing this out, finishing, getting some of the air bubbles out, and. The roof will be it tonight. We're definitely one step closer on the crossfire and I know we did not get as far as we wanted to. It's not bad though. Let's get real. We know where this crossfire came from and we know what it's going to do. We're definitely learning a lot. I have a newfound, just utter respect for guys that do this vinyl stuff. We've done some stuff and it's one thing doing a small panel, but trying to get it over this whole roof and just get everything to cooperate with you. It's a totally different thing. So kudos to the guys to do vinyl work. What you doing? We had a little scrap piece. I think it was just used as packaging material. Whoa, it's bright. So we're just practicing. This oh, is the like brushed metal fuel yeah. tank cover. It's kind of cool. Mm. So yeah, just did that wrap around the edge better now? A little bit. Mm. Oh, okay. Let's see what it looks like on the car. There we go. You can see it in the reflection. Wow, Joe, those just came out nice. Good job. Mm. You gonna leave with that or something else? I don't know. We'll see what happens on the rest of this wrap. Yeah, we'll see what it looks like. Um, so next steps, this wrap goes on all this down here. And we played around with it, and the seam's not too terrible right here. So because it's camo, it kind of hides a lot. Get it? It hides a lot because it's camo. <laughs> and the whole back 
section of the car. I think we're we're not we're not doing below the tail light, right? The wrap only comes no. The wrap only comes to these seams, right? Yeah, so it stops right there and this will be black. So, it's only that section there that bends and waves and oh boy. So I got my first sponsor sticker going on the car right here, our NRG Innovations. Um, and I haven't mentioned it yet, but I am going to be putting running some NRG seats. On top of that, this is a Team Olympus uh, a racing car. So since it's a part of a team car, it's going to carry the sponsors of the team. How's that look right there, Daniel? Looks good. Stick it on, Joe. All right, here we go. Might be a little low. <laughs> looks great right there. Nice. So you're still waiting on your seats, uh, but to match the camo, we've got the NRG camo belts. These are five point harness. They come with the integrated pad and they're pretty nice. We've been running NRG for years now. And since this rig is going to be racing, we got to keep Joe safe. It looks good. It looks good. Dude, this like, this reflection is sick. I, I'm trying to pick it up in a camera, but you can't tell. I really like it though. It's let me, got a- Let me a, put these in here. So this is going to sit. Oh, that one's coming apart. But look at that. Does this not match the car just perfect right here? Camo, camo, rainbow. <laughs> you can't really see it it's like a prism sticker well you know it's still if you think about it a multicolored therefore it's camo no i like that i think that looks great i am excited that uh i have my nrg seat belts and uh i'll tell you what man i think it's gonna be nice adding a sticker makes that body look better just wait till you get a ton of those stickers you know what adding a here. sticker does shows one step closer to a race car we're going to wrap the video up there. Make sure you go down below and comment for the Civic. We'll be drawing somebody's name for that coming up here in about a week or so. We'll put a date in the description, but that's going to wrap it up for this one. I uh, hope you enjoyed some of the stuff we have going on. We'll see you next time.